Cancer, it's Elle here to do your 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and get into this Cancer. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Cancer, what we get showing up is the Seven of Cups in right. Hierophant. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. Um, so there's, a, of course, there's feminine and masculine energy. The feminine energy is, um, she's more spiritual, okay? Um, her power comes from divine. She, directly from the divine. That's what she's working with. That's what she's working for. Um... She can easily go in between the, the realms, you know, the real world, the three D, and then the spiritual world. And this would this is what makes her a mysterious woman. This could be you, Cancer. Um, it could be the person that you are coming to the reading for. Um, this feminine energy here. Once again, very mysterious. She's okay with being by herself because in that by herself, she can develop herself. and de She can plan, okay? Because the high priestess also talks about planning. There's an, you know, the element of planning in a gestation period. And she's like in between the two, planning, gestation, getting things together so that it can be birthed, so that she can turn into the, um, the empress. She can, can turn her ideas, her planning, into the empress, the real world. Something solid, something stable. She can uh, have her ideas come to fruition. It's funny because we have the high priestess and then the hierophant. The hierophant. This is a spiritual connection, a spiritual um, union is what I was going to say. It looks like this is what I'm getting like the reason why you and another person don't get along or there has been friction is because somebody gets their power straight from the divine they're more spiritual and then the other person gets their power from man um, from the world they get recognition power from the things that they have done here in the earthly plane in the in this realm so the both of you just don't understand each other on on um, a, a fundamental level. There's also separation here. You guys are not talking. You're not together in any capacity. Uh, this relationship could go through periods of where it's so intense. You talk every day. You see each other. It's great. Things are going good. And then it goes to a period of disconnection. I haven't talked to her. I haven't talked to him. I'm not talking to him. I'm not talking to her. And it's cyclical like this. So the relationship um, for some of you is cyclical. It goes in cycles. It seems as if the masculine energy wants to ground the relationship here however that is you know maybe have something traditional with the feminine energy he wants the power though okay um because he wears the, the red robe um he wants to ground the the connection he wants it you know i don't know he wants to get married wants to have a family wants to move in i don't know but this person wants to ground the energy he feels as if there are too many things up in the air it's, the decision is up in the air and it's not a decision that he can make all his own it's almost as if he's waiting for the feminine energy to make some judgment some decision in terms of this connection are we in or are we out to make some snap judgment there's also been a feminine energy who makes a snap judgment to cut it off or to turn it back on 
And with this relationship being cyclical as it is, this person is just waiting for it to be back on. This person also, the masculine energy could be trying to study, uh, you know, religion, spirituality, um, try to study something uh, more traditional, um, something to do with corporation or a larger, on a larger scale. This person also could be guiding people, you know, um, maybe they're a teacher, a philosopher, a professor. Um, or maybe they just show up in that capacity in their own personal lives, not even having the title, but that is how people look at them as the one with the power, the man with the plan. The masculine energy wants to ground all of this discord, all this frustration, all of this up and down, all of this in and out, this bad blood between the two of you. Uh, we're back on, we're not on, this competing of, of wills and goals. It's like they, they want to, you know, rectify it. How do we, we get out of this energy is what a masculine energy is saying. What rests between the two of you is the Seven of Cups. Um, seven Deadly Sins. What rests between the two of you is, I don't know if it's that somebody isn't serious about commitment or they weren't serious about commitment. They were lazy. They were procrastinating. They did not make a choice. Um, they were overindulgent. Uh, they took more than they gave. They made promises, had no intention of actually fulfilling any one of those promises. Somebody is a cheating or philandering, was philandering or that word, um, a philanderer, a cheating spouse here. Somebody is not faithful because they're not serious about commitment or they haven't been. Somebody's character is in question how they deal in interpersonal connection is in question here somebody is confused about it somebody is not understanding someone's actions and then their words and how they don't match up it's not even that they don't understand it it's just more so that it causes so much discord and confusion that they rather just leave it alone we have a feminine energy doing nothing right now, not speaking, not talking, keeping things to herself. She is coming off as alluring, desirable, un unattainable at this point because she is not easily read right now because there's nothing to read. There's nothing that she's showing. The masculine energy... With the hierophant coming up, if it, if then if only in their own life they could be trying to like get together all of this, maybe some drama happening in their own life. Maybe they deal with childish people or childish energy around them. They're trying to guide people or be the guiding light, or they maybe they even might be getting guidance in terms of how to. Um, get out of this energy, how to get out of being even morally bankrupt, bankrupt, uh, you know, uh, literally. They're trying to um, learn about themselves and learn how not to be in this win-lose draw energy. They're trying to determine a win-win situation or how they can better be in that energy. Um, They're trying to get over the grief, the regret, and the, res the resentment in their life. They're trying to get out of that place because for some of you, 
a person could feel as if a relationship is salvageable here, it's fixable, it's recoverable. But how do I recover it? So they're getting some knowledge of from where, I don't know. This is your reading, Cancer. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own energy. Book your own reading there. Yeah, book your own energy. Um, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Go donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care.